Hey guys, it's Dr. Michael Hyman here. Um, I'm a, what they call a designated center of excellence for Eurolift. Uh, that just means I've done hundreds of these procedures. I know a lot about it. Um, I've had a lot of experience in treating patients with prostate enlargement conditions um, and using specifically Eurolift as the means of, uh, of taking care of those symptoms that are so bothersome to so many men, including nighttime urination, slow stream, frequent urination during the day, either alone or a combination of those symptoms. Um, that's what I do. So um, today I just wanna to talk to you briefly about how uh, Eurolift works. Um, you can see behind me um, a poster um, that uh, describes first the condition of prostate enlargement. Um, we've talked about this in some other videos, but briefly, um, the prostate, which is uh, sitting underneath the bladder, um, is, um, is where the urethra travels as it exits the bladder. It's sort of the bladder being a balloon. The urethra is the stem of the balloon. That stem of that balloon is getting pressed on by your prostate, and it could be because your prostate is actually greater volume, or it could just be that it's denser and tighter around the urethra, or it could be a combination of both. Um, but one way or the other, um, what's happening is, as you can see in this lower picture right here, this is inside, this is a cystoscopy view where we go inside the urethra through the penis and look inside the prostate and we can see that those lobes, we call those lobes, are compressing the urethra. And so how do we get those lobes to open up? Obviously you can have surgery which is going to basically shave them out and that's a pretty invasive thing to do and it can cause a lot of side effects. Or you could destroy the tissue with microwave energy, laser energy, water vapor energy or radio frequency energy. There's lots of energy forms. The simplest thing to do is right behind me is simply putting in little devices that will spread those loads apart and just leave them like that. That's all you need. And that's the least invasive thing you can do. Um, it will cause the least amount of side effects. If you just push those lobes apart, it's basically giving you that same open pathway you had before you developed this condition. So it kind of brings you back to maybe how you were when you were in your 20s. Are you going to have as strong of a stream as you did in your 20s? I don't know about that. But for sure, it will improve your symptoms. I should say 90%. It should improve your symptoms. You will recover regain or rather retain your ejaculation. If you've lost ejaculation because you're on medication such as Flomax, you'll get it back because the majority of these guys can go off the Flomax and they begin to have semen again. Um, these little tiny um, implants that we use, they're, they're sort of drawn out in this picture right here. Those little tiny implants, just so you know, because some of the questions I get is, am I going to feel them? Can they uh, move? Can they come out? Can they set up, uh, uh, you know, metal detectors at the airport? And the answer to all those questions is it's no. No one ever feels them um, once they're in. Uh, no one ever sees them come out once they're in. Uh, it does not set off metal detectors. Um, they're very safe. They're pretty ubiquitous, these types of materials in all surgical procedures. So if you've ever had any surgical procedure, a hernia repair, an appendix removed, a gallbladder removed, just about everything we do, we use these little tit titanium uh, metallic devices to occlude blood vessels or what have you. So this is nothing new um, and, um, and is perfectly safe. Um, it's obviously FDA approved. Um, and I, I honestly have never had any complication with this procedure, certainly not to the extent where I've ever had to remove it or I've seen one get removed um, for any reason like that. So um, give it a look. Uh, you can. There's tons of information online on Eurolift. Again, Dr. Michael Hyman, um, I'm a center of excellence. Um, I've done hundreds of these procedures. Um, by all means, uh, give, us a, give us a shout. We are easily accessible in our office um, either by making an appointment you can come in you can do a telehealth consultation um, i'm also happy to answer some questions my email is drhyman at drhyman.net dr hyman at drhyman.net happy to answer your questions okay take care